We think Luke Picard ever was ever like to the replicator. Give me some of that fucking Little Caesars <laughs> shitty beats. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I miss having the runs. <laughs> There, there used to, number one, there used to be a 20th a century, 20th century <laughs> pizza chain. Pizza yeah. chain known as the Little Caesars. Yeah. I know, an anachronism. He's all, and then the breaker's like, would you go in there and they would stab you to death? <laughs> <laughs> Why would they belittle the Caesar that way? Yeah. yeah. Well, curious. <laughs> the Romans knew nothing about pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, would they not? They were Italian. Yeah, they, did. They, they knew about pizza. Yeah, I mean, pizza is pizza a very old thing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the history of you know pizza what I is. can't. I can't pretend to be an authority on this. <laughs> pizza I've is tried just before, a, and just I failed an, miserably. <laughs> pizza is just an open face Italian taco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, so it, so it's foldable yeah. into a, a taco, and then you can fill it with things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you got meat. You got sauce. That's a taco, man. Where's does that make it a sandwich? Because okay, you know, we're back on a, that Because it's, it's like a pita, right? No, it's not, dude. It's a tortilla. It's basically a tortilla. <laughs> it's a flatbread, you know. But but you can't say it's, flat. Come on, it's Ricardo. not. It's not really. It, okay, it's more like a gordita. <laughs> <laughs> now though, that's a real gray area, gorditas. Well, I okay. I've heard that gorditas aren't real. Is that a real thing? Because I thought Taco Bell yeah. just made it up. No, so it's I, a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and it's actually what Taco Bell sells. No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they made their own version of the gordita, but gordita what is, is like, it? it's like a really thick tortilla. Okay. They open up and you put beans and meat in it. Oh, I you know, see. You know, so it's basically like a pupusa. So oh, yeah, yeah. I've had that. Pupusas. Yeah, I've had that in Mexico. I didn't know that was called a gordita. I thought it was like a stuffed tortilla. And I didn't no. know that was called a gordita. Okay, okay. All yeah. right. So All different right. parts. Like some people, it, if, if you're in Mexico, it's like a gordita. But Is it normally purple? Because that's the one I had. No. It was purple and filled with vegetables. Uh, well, I probably had a, you probably had an empanada. Oh, but, but no, no, I'm sorry. Not an empanada. You probably had a pupusa. It didn't seem like a pupusa. Because I've had pupusas before. If it was purple, you, you might have like had a um, or something. Uh, <laughs> guarache was it? Was the food on top or in the, or inside? It was inside it. Yeah, and mm. it was like I think it was purple because it was made out of blue corn. Oh, oh, oh okay. okay, all right. So, so I think that, that's that's why. a wild card, dude. <laughs> that's just some yeah. crazy shit I found. The street <laughs> introduce blue corn, all bets are off, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can make everything blue if you put blue corn in it, dude. Um, yeah. You think you think the captain likes tacos? Like, let me, uh, replicator, let me have one of those tacos. I know, he, like, when he replicated stuff to eat in the shuttle this episode, he just ate, like, tiny, shitty little, like, yeah. tea, tea you, sandwiches. You think, it's like, yeah, well, he true. had a heart issue. He couldn't have been like, give me some fish and chips. Greasy ass <laughs> fish and chips. <laughs> if, oh, if I, if I eat some greasy chips right now, I'm yeah. going to have a heart attack right now. <laughs> or, yeah. or maybe the, like, maybe a shuttle bound replicator doesn't have, like, adequate matter stores uh, to make anything it's nicer not, than the sandwiches. Yeah. It's, not, it's not good enough. Yeah. Look at you, dude. Come over here with yeah. fucking science knowledge, dude. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Port- portable replication has its yeah. limitations. Yeah. Hey, Marvin, how's the sex planet? <laughs> uh, Colorado is nice. Uh, okay, I'll be 100% honest. I don't think I want to come back to Denver. Because uh, you don't have any omelets. I know, dude. <laughs> yeah, that was, well, well, that, was, that was, I think it's like. Was there uh, a disappointing amount of sex? <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you if you mean zero, then yes. Uh, oh but, but wow! I think whatever I think a, disappoints you. <laughs> yeah, I think a Denver omelet is to Denver as Canadian bacon is to Canada. It doesn't really exist in those places. Wait, Canadian bacon uh, doesn't really exist. Not in Canada. It's like a oh thing that we God, call bacon. Dude. I think in Canada they just call it like back bacon or something like that. I forget the exact. It's term. like the fucking mystery that is American football. Like what's that? <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah, but 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 Denver. Um, uh, I'm sorry if any listeners listening in Denver. Um, but this is a town full of asshole drivers. Oh my god, they're <laughs> all a bunch of okay. This is the this is like it's the, that marijuana man. It makes them angry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing that that set it off. Like everyone is driving like shit, right? But I live in Burbank, so I'm used to that. So I'm like, okay, so this is another city where people drive like shit. I'm used to it. Um, okay. but then. 
um, this, this time Sarah was driving. Uh, Sarah was my partner. And uh, we, we were like, oh, there's a car in front of us. Uh, they're about to like back up into a spot, Parallels Park, right? And they, that's where they stopped in the middle of the road. So we're like, oh, okay, we'll go around. And as we're like signaling to go around, they start backing up straight into us, right? So we're like, okay, they don't see us. We're going to honk just to let them know, right? So we honk. Then the back seat passenger opens his door, has his sunglasses and backwards baseball cap on and starts yelling at us and telling us, what the fuck are you doing? And we were like, what? Why are you yelling at us? You almost yeah. backed up. Into, we were parked. <laughs> like, we're not moving. Yeah. Hey, man, they uh, saw you. They yeah. saw you. <laughs> Shut saw the fuck you. up. Yeah. I, that's just, that's essentially what he said. They knew you were out of town or dude. They, they were like locos yeah, only. It's like, oh, look at these idiots. They don't yeah. know how close we get to yeah. each other with they our cars know, here. They don't, know, they don't know how to order secret omelets. <laughs> <laughs> They come over here and they think it's they, a they come over here and they, they order a Denver omelet in Denver. <laughs> the fools. Yeah. Instead of calling it uh, a, yeah. a Denver omelet, they call it, can I have the omelet, please? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or an omelet, man. We ain't precious <laughs> about them. <laughs> yeah. They're all over the place there. Uh, Denver omelets. So, so if I you're, wanna, if you're a new listener, yeah. uh, welcome. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, if you're not a new listener, hey, thanks for this coming. This is a podcast back. where we shit on American capitals. <laughs> yeah. So, but I would go back to Colorado in general, I think, because the, the nature of it was really beautiful. So, I don't know. Hmm. But anyway, yeah, this is newbie Star Trek. Um, if you haven't listened to the podcast before, it's because uh, Ricardo over here has not listened or watched po- uh, podcasts, watched hey, Star say, Trek before. Yeah. <laughs> did you just say that if you've never listened to this podcast before, it's because, it's because Ricardo, Ricardo hasn't seen oh, Star Trek Oh, is that Trek what I before? said? Oh, man. I think that's Ricardo, what you, said. you caused a lot of issues for a lot of people. Damn. I know. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Ricardo hasn't, uh, hasn't watched Star Trek before. So mm-hmm. we're kind of taking him on a journey, with, starting with TNG. And also, I'm Marvin. Hello. And I'm here, also here with Dan. Hi, Dan. Hey, guys. It's me. Dan, <laughs> yeah, it's Dan. Yeah. yeah, it's real. It's real Dan in real yeah, life. That's yep. and that, and that's Ricardo. Yep. It's me, um, Steve. Uh, Steve, <laughs> um, welcome. You know if- that guy who was Dan in real life. Girl, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Oh right, man, I yeah, thought you were already making the joke. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 God damn I mean, now, now you, we need a, a key art of you with your, with your head laying down on some pancakes. Yeah. Yeah. To be I fair, like those look really fair, soft. To, yeah. If, if, <laughs> you're mean, new, if you're a new listener I, and you haven't listened to before, you, you know, I like to go on pancake rants uh, <laughs> and here's one, dude. I fucking hate them, dude. I like crepes. <laughs> I like crepes. That's my favorite. What? How can you hate pancakes? Thinner, dude. I love crepes, dude. I love. Th- uh, th- okay. If you're going to make pancakes? me, if you're going to make a pancake, make it really thin. So it looks like a crepe. <laughs> What? <laughs> but if you want full size pancakes, <laughs> get them out of here, dude. No, the, take all right, all right, all right, all right. Crepes and crepes and pancakes are actually very different. A crepe is much stronger than a pancake. Uh, I could, love crepes, dude. You, pancakes, like, I love uh, I love crepes too. In fact, we have a friend in Hollywood. Uh, you can the, skin a drum with a crepe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At the Hollywood <laughs> Farmers Market, there is a crepe stand run by our friend, and he uh, does a does a really great job. A crepery. Yeah, it's literally a crepery stand. Um, uh, but I don't know, know, that's a real word, biased, man. <laughs> but crepes are very like you yeah. can't fold a pancake over something and it'll survive. It'll you know it'll yes, break. That's the, that's the best part of a crepe, dude. You can put anything in You've it. Been, dude. Yeah, exactly. You've been yeah, hanging out with some weak ass pancakes, man. <laughs> Here's the thing about pancakes is that they're too they're too dense. I don't like them, dude. I prefer, <laughs> no, that's a bad here, pancake. A pancake here, here, should here, not be dense. I'll tell it you my, my my power rankings, dude. Crepes mm-hmm. number one, dude. Mm-hmm. Second, waffles. Third, okay. I was about to French ask you where toast. waffles were. French toast and then uh, okay. bottom, bottom bitch, fucking pancakes, dude. <laughs> I I generally, I don't know where I would put crepes in that, um, but I agree with French Captain toast. Captain Luke Picard? Crepe man, dude. You <laughs> know it. Well, he's yeah, French. Yeah. Wouldn't he like Thank French you. toast the most? He like, no, it, it's not even fucking, it's not even French, dude. Crepes, it's dude. Just, it's French just toast, toast isn't French? No, 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 no. This is oh. Denver almost all over again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in France, it's just toast. Yeah. You think we go to France and be like, give me, give me some of that toast. And it comes in, in French toast form. <laughs> Every piece of toast takes a very long time to make because we have to dip it in this fucking dip and fry it. And then <laughs> yeah, it's like French fries. <laughs> I remember seeing this stupid like infomercial at night. They're like, 
oh man, check out this like George Foreman ripoff, George Foreman grill ripoff. Like yeah, it, it makes pancakes really great. And they took the pancakes out and it was crunchy. <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> and, they're, and they're like oh nice and crispy just like oh, i like my pancakes <laughs> i was like what the fuck is this <laughs> oh boy uh, if you if anybody if anybody has a crepery and they want to uh they want to sponsor us let us know i'd like to taste the crepes you sell yeah that's what i got guys. yeah 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 uh so anyway uh this this episode i hate this episode uh, really Oh, oh my god. Oh god, I can't stand this episode. But really? But if you like it, great. Good for you. <laughs> well, this is another one where we're yeah. so I, I, I started off liking it, but you we changed my mind during this. Um uh, I just I just we'll, see. we'll get into it later. Yeah. Uh, but I just I just hate everything about it. Uh <laughs> even though this was too much Wesley for my taste. I still enjoyed it. I, I ju- it just feels like a bad season one episode, except for the, f- the few conversations between Wesley and Picard, which are yeah. like kind of charming because uh, they're they're talking and stuff. But anyway, Samaritan Snare. That's what we watched this week. Uh, and that first aired on May 15th of 1989. Dan, let's go around the sun and you tell us what happened. Going around the sun means we travel back in time. Oh, it's true. For new listeners <laughs> who haven't seen Star Trek: The Journey Home, or also, four. also, oh wait, that's number four. Yeah, that's what number four is called. Yeah, I got confused. Anyway, on May twelfth, Konami released Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh, your big uh, favorite. But back then, they had a North American subsidiary named Ultra Games, which is what was the actual label on the box. And uh, I found oh. out that Ultra Games was just. A shell company, which was devised just as a way to circumvent Nintendo's strict publishing policies at the time, uh, namely that any third-party developer could only publish five games per year. What? That that used to be a requirement Why they of care? Nintendo's. <laughs> uh, I think they were just like, nah, man, we, we, like you, you better make room for our own shit too. Oh. Um. So, uh, yeah. So they had a separate company made it just to release additional games. That's so interesting they considering go. they get a cut of every cartridge anyway, right? So it's like... I think so. Why yeah, would they like care? If, I don't know. That seems it, odd. It, I guess they didn't want to get too lost in a deluge of like third-party shitware. Deluge. Yes. Yeah. So on the same day, or um, that weekend, the box office was topped by See No Evil, Hear No Evil, a mm. comedy starring Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder as a blind man and deaf man, respectively. Oh, okay. Um, I, I vaguely yeah, remember this. This <laughs> was a third of four such buddy movies starring that pair of actors. Mm-hmm. And um, it didn't do so well. It had mixed reviews. Roger Ebert hated it. And uh, <laughs> it's currently sitting at 20% on Rotten Tomatoes. Excellent. Finally, there's not much history this week that I that stood out to me. Forever Your Girl by Paul Abdul was on the top of the Billboard charts. But mm-hmm. the reason why I bring this up is because the music video for it was directed by David Fincher. Mm. And that music video was about Paul Abdul being a choreographer for some children's performance thing. And the children she was choreographing were played by Elijah Wood. And wouldn't you know it, none other than Sarjenka herself, Nikki Cox. Ah. So there you go. She was getting around at the time. A lot of famous people in one music video. Dang. Yeah, actually. There there was even Trevor Wright who ended up um, being like... A recurrent character on some other show but oh. another actor who didn't gain as much popularity and fame as the other two oh. but yeah that's all we had for this trip around the sun thank you dan you know you know who else uh actually before before we do that i'd also like to thank our sponsor uh express vpn uh express vpn has been our sponsor for a little bit um essentially we recommend you get a vpn in general doesn't have to be ExpressVPN, uh, but if you're looking for a pretty high might quality, as well be ExpressVPN. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I advocate in general that people should get a VPN, and if you can't afford ExpressVPN, get a free one because a free VPN is better than no VPN, in my opinion. Uh, but uh, if you wanted to go for a high quality, really fast, high security VPN that is proven, especially in the security end. Uh, ExpressVPN is great because they have 3,000 plus servers and 160 locations spanning 94 countries. You can work on pretty much every device you can think of. They have a ton of apps that are compatible. Even if you wanted to buy your own router that has ExpressVPN on it, ExpressVPN actually sells that directly. Ooh. And, 
Yeah. Neat. And it also works pretty well with Netflix and other streaming services. It's something we've harped on quite a bit where yeah. um, a lot of VPNs don't really work really well with Netflix and stuff because they have huge blacklists. Huh, we're watching blacklist a lot on Netflix right now, actually. Uh, <laughs> But ExpressVPN, because their IPs rotate so often, it's hard for Netflix and other streaming services to catch up to it. So, And it's also really fast. Uh, you get like 500 megabytes up and down. It's pretty, bits. pretty fast. Bits. Oh, megabits, for example. Yeah, megabytes would be incredibly That's fast. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. That'd be like Star Trek technology <laughs> or something. That's like, like Warp 9. Actually, that's that would only be that would only be a 10 megabit connection, which does exist. Uh, but, you know, anyway, th- if you wanted to get a really good deal on it and help out the podcast, uh, you can go to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. And if you sign up for 12 months, and that'll get you an extra three months for free, which makes the whole package only six dollars and sixty seven cents a month, which is a pretty dang good deal because that overall they could have made it 669 but they fucking ranked out <laughs> no nah, no nah, they 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 couldn't get the math quite right yeah like <laughs> puritans <laughs> uh so but and then that's that's almost 50 percent off that's 49 percent off the whole thing which is a pretty good deal for that type of vpn so that's expressvpn.com slash newbie star trek Hell yeah. so, so, so the segue i was trying to do before was like hey you know who else didn't end up getting that famous because she left a prolific Star Trek show really early. Ricardo, could you please tell us what happened in this episode? Yeah, dude, that was a smooth transition. (laughs) (laughs) Perfect. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Common couldn't have done it better. Um, So, so, um, I heard that. (laughs) Don't mock us. Yeah. Um, Okay, so let's get into it. In Australia, they call McDonald's mock us. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Why? Why is it called mock us? Like Mac, Mac, the Mac and McDonald's just becomes mock us. Oh, really? I didn't know that, dude. Huh. Uh, That's one of my favorite things, by the way, before we get into the episode, is going to different countries or different places and trying Mm -hmm. McDonald's at that place Mm, because they have different, like, like the different the countries in, specifically. Yeah. Well, even states like Hawaii has like the Spanish. Oh, yeah. 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 Depending on the state. Yeah. 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 Hawaii's got the like Alaska's McDonald's is pretty different. Breakfast yeah. plate. Yeah. Man. Yeah. That's I'm the sure they have shit. Alaska probably has a lot of fish stuff, right? No. Th- the main thing with Alaska is that uh, they still deep fry their apple pies. Oh, which that's is pretty classy. good. Yeah. yeah. So uh, also yeah, it, it's always open because it's always daylight. Um, <laughs> Yo, ever had a halpia pie in, in Hawaii? Yeah. That's some good yeah, stuff. Yeah. It's some good shit. Yeah. 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 Um, all right. <clears throat> so this episode is he- fucking Wesley heavy, dude. And mm. whew, as soon as it started, I was like, oh boy, I'm not going to like this. But you know what? It grew on me, dude. It grew on me. And he's not the part of the episode I hate, actually. Yeah. No, I, mean, I like- actually hate the, I hate the other part, actually. But of course. <laughs> yeah. The other part um, is very hateable. <laughs> eminently so, hateable yeah so wesley shows up and he's fucking walking around like he fucking owns the place <laughs> there's there's this there's this young woman in in, in the comms you know she's she's manning station mm-hmm. and i'm sure she spent fucking years studying to get into the academy right <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Mm-hmm. and and she passed her exams and she fucking fought hard and she's second fiddle to this bitch ass fucking fool who yeah. comes in who's like 15 years old 16 years old and 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 like shoes her off his her his fucking station and wearing and, his shitty gray pretend uniform yeah yeah, yeah. and she's a, a red shirt ass. too which means she's on an officer track so See? it's like that's man. so fucking uh, it's a spit in the face dude that's what it is <laughs> um and she should just get up and just stab him and and do the world a favor <laughs> and stab him but she doesn't have the balls just to do it. him right there yeah <laughs> Yeah, and go give my regards to the traveler, you bitch, and bam, just shanks him, dude. Um, <laughs> and and he comes in and he's like, oh, I'm so scared. I'm going to do this test and start for the <laughs> just fucking whining like a fucking idiot. And I'm I feel bad for this for this this person because 
she struggled and and you know john luke picard could be his dad we don't know uh but he's definitely trying to dip his wick into <laughs> you know his mom <laughs> but just because of that this guy gets to, gets a free pass he gets to be on the bridge he gets to I don't like that dude. I never heard of that term he, before. He's white, dude. <laughs> uh, you know, just coming in here with, oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a white male. Let me fucking just take over and <laughs> moves over the fucking lady, you fucking bitch ass fool, dude. So I started off like really in the red, right? Hmm. And then and then Riker gives him uh, the the test parameters, and he's like, hey, don't worry about it. It's gonna be fine, dude. Chill out. And then data does this thing where he repeats basically what Riker says, basically mm-hmm. it's fine. It's going to be fine. It's the test is easy. Everyone does it. Don't worry. But he, the way he does it is he kind of insults Riker while he's doing it. Yeah. 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 Which is great. I, I love data. He's what he's become in one of my favorite characters. Oh, it's very easy. Riker. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I explained it better. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like him. He's, he's kind of like a, like a grown up version. Do you guys ever watch a uh, small wonder? No. What was that? Oh, you guys ever watched Small Wonder? Small Wonder was a oh, sitcom. Oh, yeah, I, I watched Small Wonder. It was great. Marvin, I can't believe you haven't watched it. Well, it's, what is it? You it, don't, it was a sitcom. It was, it was about the family who was called the, they were the Lawsons, and the yeah. father built a daughter, like a robot daughter named Vicky. Vicky, and she was a robot. And Jamie was was her real life brother. Oh, I didn't really know. I, I and that's think- where I learned how to say tough tamales. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they had an annoying neighbor who was a little fucking punk. Yeah, I never, um, I've never watched this. I know of this show. I just never watched it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but every yeah. so, like, I guess, like, at least once an episode, Vicky would have, like, a robo gimmick where it's like, hey, uh, you know, oh, man, this soda is so warm. It's not cold enough. And Vicky's like, cold. And then she would, like, <laughs> you know, yeah. hold, the, hold the glass and yeah. make it so cold it, like, breaks her hand or something. Why? Yeah. Why did, why did this era of sitcoms love throwing in robot children? I don't know, I don't but know. sassy robots had existed. their time. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he, had, he, had, um, he had Robo Urkel as well. Yeah, he. So Data's kind of like the adult version of, of Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> that's Robo Urkel turned into that's a cop. True. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he became a literal Robo cop. And, yeah. and, as, and assisted Urkel in sexual harassment. And that, well, that RoboCop, <laughs> yeah. yeah, already had a history of sexual harassment. Yes. Like creepy, stalking Laura. It's the yeah. stupidest, craziest shit in the world. Family yeah, Matters was crazy. It's realistic yeah. as shit. <laughs> Urkel went <Yeah>. to space. <laughs> did you know Urkel went to space? Of course he, he did. He was on the Enterprise, dude. <laughs> um, so, um, so then, so, um, uh, we're, let's start with the B storyline. Because mm. this B storyline is a bullshit fucking storyline. And I don't know. I don't understand it at all. This is a part of the episode that I don't like. It's weird because you think uh, out of a Wesley episode, I'd be like, fuck, West, the Wesley parts are fucking horrible. But no, it's the B storyline, which is apparently Captain Jean-Luc Picard uh, doesn't have a strong enough heart. Just like yeah. Jason Statham. If, if, he had, <laughs> if the captain was Jason Statham, no problem there, captain. Um, but no, it's this weak ass fucking weak hard bitch. And he's, <laughs> like, he's like, I got, I got a, I got a bum ticker. I already have one, but it's effective. Mm. All the technology in the world, by the way, all the technology in the world, look at data, dude. <laughs> yet, yeah. yet, yet we don't have a fucking a, a good heart replacement. He's got to get another one because he got a faulty one. Well, I mean, they can't fix fucking Jordy's eyes, so. Well, well, actually, someone yeah. said that they she probably could. Didn't Pulaski yeah. already tell him that he, she probably could? Yeah, but could. then they forgot. Yeah, and they, yeah they, they, they're they, like, well, <laughs> you look cooler I like mean, this. you know, we can just assume that she still probably could. She just stopped caring. Or or Jordy was just like, ah, I'll do it tomorrow. She keeps yeah, saying that. And then that, it just, you know, tomorrow. gets tucked yeah, into I'll the corner tomorrow. and then it gets <laughs> forgotten about. And then the expiration date passes and yeah. you find it like three months later. It's like, oh, shit. You lost the paperwork to get it authorized. Yeah. He's like, fuck, yeah. well, I don't want to write all that paperwork again. Yeah. Got to clear it with your primary health physician. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Fucking referrals. <laughs> fucking referrals, dude. <laughs> um so so Pulaski's like, oh we'll we'll do the we'll do the, the operation here, you know, like it's fine. And for some reason I still don't understand why he's he's like he doesn't want to do it. I don't understand. I, there's there's no real reason. Right? He he's like, people are gonna know. This, this is this is uh this is season one. No Picard. one's gonna know. It's like the yeah, this is season thing. one. No one's like, gonna know. Yeah, proud for no know. reason, Picard. Yeah, unreasonably proud Picard, season one Picard. Because it's like there is there is doctor patient confidentiality. She can't just go, huh, I just saw, saw Picard's dick while doing surgery. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you yeah, can't yeah, dude. she can't go around doing that. So is that it's what like, he's scared of? 
I that she's into his dick? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently so. Yeah. I don't. I guess Marvin so. Marvin knows. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like why? Why would he be so scared? Because <laughs> because Pulaski Pulas, uh, Pulaski is like, well, I won't tell anybody. It's fine. I won't tell anybody. And because you're because you're ego, and it's like, oh, oh, I think I think you're right, dude. I think she's he, he's afraid that he he he's gonna be under a, like under sedation. She's gonna p- take a peek at his fucking John Luke Picard, and she's that gonna find Picard. out. Yeah, and he's gonna find out that the little captain is not as big as the big captain, and tell everybody. <laughs> Um, and then he's gonna look bad. So I get it now. That makes sense. See that? If they explain that in the episode, be like, <laughs> that makes perfect sense. He <laughs> wants a doctor he's never seen or d- doesn't know anybody he knows. And will never see again. Yeah. And yeah. therefore, and nothing can yeah. ever come back. To- <laughs> yeah. Nothing will right. ever come back. Like, dude, you know, you know the captain of the Enterprise, fucking little dick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they should call it the little dick Enterprise captain. Um, <laughs> so they can't they, call they, it the Enterprise D anymore. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> um, so, so he's fighting her, dude. And he's like, all right, well, if you don't do it here, you got to go to that base station that Wesley's going to, uh, to take his bitch ass test. Um, <laughs> and so he's like, fuck, I'll go. Test. Yeah. <laughs> so the captain comes back in and he's, he comes in fucking hot, dude. He comes in, he's fucking angry. And he's like, uh, he runs into Wesley. He's like, I understand you're going to Starbase 515 or whatever. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to take a shuttle and head over there. And he's like, all right, I'm going to go with you. I have business there. And then, yeah. and then Wrecker's like, what kind of business, dude? And, <laughs> and he's like, I'm going to go see a whore. <laughs> <laughs> With my gigantic Wait. dick. Yeah. <laughs> who's, who's the whore? Your mom, Wesley, your mom. Um, <laughs> he, bur- he, got him. he got him, dude. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, by the way, if you're a new listener and you're, you're slightly offended by crude humor, then this is not the podcast for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> it gets also, worse. So if you're yeah. the type to, to get really um, twisted over us getting names, dates, facts, plot points, <laughs> names wrong um this may also may not be the best podcast to yeah, listen to it happens a for lot. your blood pressure i've yeah, had some I, angry emails that i'm not gonna read <laughs> oh really I, care. I, I want to see them i would like to see those please i'd have to find them i don't know where i i think i've, I, I've been I don't reorganizing care. i don't care dude <laughs> Tim, 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 the captain oh, of the fucking There was one Enterprise. like YouTube comment that was like, well, he, of course he can eat those eggs. His, his stomach is like an iron stomach. And I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> fucking <laughs> cares. <laughs> Someone's like, I've, I've read into, into fucking, into their, 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 the lining of their stomach. I did a deep dive once. <laughs> so, they can, they can have up to 10, five, 10 to Five to five to ten thousand Scoville, and it won't affect. <laughs> they you can know do what? the I think, it was, I think those were Gene Roddenberry. Yeah, <laughs> there were his descendants. They were fucking like these bitches are making yeah, fun of our like dad. These people yeah. don't even have all the details yeah. of. They keep calling know. my dad Gene Roddenberries. <laughs> I got the details of their of those genitals all wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> those genitals don't look like that at all. Uh, um, so then, the Riker's like genitals. <laughs> <laughs> the wing. God damn it, dude! No wonder we're getting so many hate mail, dude. Um, this is the Ferengi okay, or not you know the what? Wayans yes. brothers? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we deserve that. We deserve we deserve every word of that. How dare we insinuate? <laughs> yeah. <that. laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did you the say teabag? Why did you say teabag joined the electrolytes? <laughs> God damn it, dude! All right, dude. Back to this episode. So, um, Riker's what like, have "What have we done?" Fuck? Yeah, he's like, well, "What's this trip to Starbase Five Fifteen, dude? I thought you were gonna go to the Epsom Salt thing and see the the salt yeah. for this." <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's like, yeah. "He's like, no, nah, I can't." He's like, "You were all excited about the Epsom Salts," and he's like, "No, <laughs> I, I can't go." Number one. Uh, I must go to to this base, and you know I, I will accompany Vincent Crusher, and and <laughs> you could tell Riker's like y- you hate that fucker. Why are you going with him? <laughs> you want to be stuck in a fucking shuttle a shuttle for six hours with this piece of shit dude? <laughs> who who God knows what he's going to try to do in that shuttle. He's tried to kill the whole fucking crew like ten times. <laughs> Imagine just you and him. You can't even take a wink of a nap, dude, because he'll fucking kill you, dude. <laughs> So, um, so he's like, ah, we're going, and and then like he starts putting in like it's weird, like his busy work here is totally odd. He's putting away books, 
like is he is he packing books for his fucking trip yeah like that's he, odd. He, he was spotted reading at least one book in the shuttle yeah, somewhere yeah. although th- it makes me wonder like c- can you just replicate the book or does yeah, he really sure. does he really care that it's like the book that he's had like does he is it that important to him i guess let's that just assume that's what it is yeah i mean he is he's like, like no sentimental sense. over these objects so i guess yeah yeah, yeah. And uh, and so anyway, so it, it, he could, he could have a Kindle, dude. Yeah. See, th- so the main the, thing is, even they if have I, that manual with yeah. the finger banging with all the, <laughs> the signs, but they can't fucking <laughs> find a book. Dude. And no, no, the, there was a thing where remember the remember when when uh, Troy, uh, oh, Troy yeah, was, yeah, was reading they, behind yeah, him. They were, yeah, like, yeah, he read off the fucking yeah, tablet, yeah. you bitch. It's another um, thing is also even if those books were sentimental to me, yeah. I wouldn't take him on a trip. I would not with Wesley. Him. He'll burn him. Yeah, yeah. I would keep him in my office safe. I think. Okay. You know? yeah, here's a benevolent or here's a benevolent read of this. Picard had, at this point in history, the nostalgic like hipster thing yeah. is <laughs> to actually have a physical object like but with that, paper uh, in your hand. But then to, to, he is the equivalent it's, of it's, of it's the vinyl <laughs> for books. Yeah, yeah but then, true, that makes true. him the equivalent of the hyper hipster who comes to the coffee shop with the turntable and plays a vinyl there on his headphones. Yeah. Bump that up to 78, please. So, so Picard confirmed for hyper hipster. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then you have Wesley and he's talking to Jordy and the lady with the three boobs from total recall. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's back. Yeah, she, yeah, she's she back. actually I, returned I'm for yeah. one episode. I forgot she came back. Yeah. 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 Uh, Probably never again. Yeah. Until yeah. we see her again next episode. Yeah. I, I just don't have a memory of her. So I don't know if this is the last time or not. So I, I dig her dude. Cause uh, to be honest, like I, when I was younger, I'd watch total recall and I was like, man, <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if this actress. I wonder if this actress like will always be known as a three three boobed lady. You know what I mean? Like that's fucked mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. Um, no, that is a fair. That is a fair thought to have. Yeah, yeah. And then it's good to see her here. I mean, I still refer to her as a three boobed lady, but it's good to see. <laughs> it's good to see her in other things. And she's she's good. She's a good actress. I, I yeah. I'm gonna go find her and see what else she's done. But uh, she's doing a fine job here. And she, they're basically like, dude, don't don't fret, dude. I wish they would they would have made her more of a love interest to Jordy. Like they seem like they would be a good couple. You know what I mean? I mean that's what it seems. It seems like she's at least going to be like a good friend hanging around with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know friends, but they don't touch. Um, <laughs> and so so they're like, dude, don't even fucking shit, dude. It's gonna be fine, dude. Plus, you know somebody. Look, Picard will fucking vouch for you, and you you're white, so you're just gonna <laughs> you're, you're gonna you're gonna get to the top, dude. You're gonna be a captain in like two years, dude. And he's like, yeah, I'm just so, you know, and then he's like, oh, I'm just so nervous going with the captain because it's like six hours, man. And they're like, yeah, it's fine. Chill. He's a human being, dude. Just just be cool, dude. Um, And and she's like, yeah, he he knows so much about like archaeology and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, why would he know all that shit, dude? I don't know shit, dude. He doesn't even know about his heart. Um, <laughs> and then and then but he, I still don't understand why he won't have the surgery there. Why he's like. I, I, that doesn't make any fucking sense to me. The only like actual logical reason I can think of is that he doesn't want this, the crew to see him in any form of vulnerability. Like, so he doesn't oh, take much shit, sense dude? at he all. He never takes a shit, dude? Yeah, it doesn't make any, this, like, that doesn't really make sense in, upon any reflection because like he's been in tons of very vulnerable situations. Remember when his mind controlled? You know, I mean, that's pretty yeah. bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, he's been compromised so many times already yeah, and maintained dude. like, you know, all of his authority and everyone still loves him. Like, there's yeah. no reason for he let any a of this. Child take over the ship, dude. Yeah. Okay. He let a child if take I over the ship. I was the dude. admiral, right? Who reviewed yeah. that case of a child yeah. getting drunk and taking over the Enterprise? I'd be like, well, who is this chicken fuck captain who's in, fu- in charge of yeah. this fucking ship? Yeah. <laughs> how did that happen? Yeah. Get him the fuck out of here. I don't care what his service record is. Yeah. Let a I don't child care how many maneuvers the- he coined. <laughs> yeah. He could, he could, I don't care how much change he has in his pocket. Yeah. Get him out of here, dude. I don't care how <laughs> tiny his dick is. Get him out of here. <laughs> I don't care we're if he's the tiniest penis in the Federation. We're going to get a fucking hay meal. Well, I've done research in this, no, and it turns out that the captain has at least, at least that we know of, 13 inches. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, fucking 
dick well, the, nerds. No, the, star, um, the Star Trek technical manual states that the, the uniform <laughs> yeah. has to accommodate a penis at least six to 12 inches long. So his dick's yeah. got to be somewhere between that range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is <laughs> average. Uh, anyway, so. <laughs> that's so, soft uh, cannon. <laughs> yeah, dude. I can, uh, sometimes hard cannon. cannon. But, you know. Yeah, dude. Depends <laughs> on the uniform. Uh, so, so they get on the shuttle and they they take off and they're on they're on trip, dude. Six fucking hours, dude, with this piece of shit. Dude. <laughs> Which so, in Star Trek time is uh, uh, yeah. an eternity to get somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Literally, it takes forever. Yeah. Well, yeah, like taking having to take the shuttle somewhere on like impulse power is like getting stuck in a traffic jam in L.A. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Where it's like yeah. it's going to take us 30 minutes to travel two miles. <laughs> what the fuck? It shouldn't take this long. And it seems yeah. so, so useless because just to skip ahead slightly at the end of, at the end of, at the, end of the episode, mm-hmm. they're like, oh, Picard's in trouble, right? Yep. We got to get there super fast. They get there like that. So couldn't they just drop them off, then go? Yeah. <laughs> like, isn't it taking an extra, an extra two minutes? <laughs> two minutes, dude. Two minutes. And they would have been there. Like back, you've been dude. an Uber for an entire season already. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You might as well just have them, just yeah. drop them off. Just take a two minute detour. And look, look, I've been saying this for, for goddamn two fucking seasons now, dude. No one uses any goddamn common sense, dude. No one's like, hey, okay, look. Wesley hasn't tried to kill anybody lately. <laughs> I stress lately, right? He's like Jeffrey goddamn Dahmer, dude. He's going to kill again, dude. Once you get the taste of human flesh, <laughs> you, you can't get it off you, dude. Uh, once he's tasted that, that, that power. Mm-hmm. So you don't want to leave the captain alone with this piece of shit. So, so do what you do. Uber him there. Take yeah. him there. It takes one minute there, one minute back. You're back. It's helping the the Trump supporters that are on the <laughs> ship. Um, and so, so yeah, yeah. God damn it! More hate mail. I apologize, Marvin, because um, I don't read that shit. Uh, so, so, so you have the the C storyline, which is the captain leaves with fucking Wesley. And then they they're like, hey, we got a hailing frequency thing. They're they're hailing us. There's a fucking there's a problem, dude. Mm. And of course, there's always a problem, dude. It, nothing can go smoothly in this fucking show. Yeah, and there's never an episode nope. where there's like this today. Nothing happened. We're just hanging out. There's it's called just gossip. People are just gossiping because there's nothing <laughs> happening on the ship, dude. <laughs> it's like, did you hear about Riker, dude? Yeah, he has. He, he has, hasn't been. He's not talking to Troy. He hasn't been talking to her for a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, he's been locked in there with his fucking harp ladies, <laughs> and he, he grew a beard while he was there. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking rumors. I call it the rumor episode. Um, but no, they they go and they 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 go help these people that are fucking idiots, dude. <laughs> so They're they pull the up. Worst. Oof, these people are fucking stupid, dude. And hey, I, hate, I, mean, I hate these characters so yeah. much. <laughs> so they seem not to have a large vocabulary, these guys, yeah. or they're not very smart. Uh, the only they, thing about these characters I like is that they were apparently supposed to be like a parody of modern, like current humans. That makes sense. That makes <laughs> a lot of sense, dude. That's about I mean, it. That's about I'm like, all right, that's fine. They remind me slightly them. of Hoggish <laughs> Greedly from Captain Planet. <laughs> yeah. And they're idiots. And they're like, oh, uh, uh, by the way, uh, rest in peace, Ed Asner. Oh, yeah. 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 He played he's the voice of, shit, of Hoggish dude. Greedly. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Look, every if you're just human, hates P- Pixar that much. Yeah, yeah. He hates, he hates up it, this much. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Fuck it, Ed. Ed Asner, dude. Um, <laughs> up yours, Ed. <laughs> yeah. If you're a human, you're a piece of shit. Um, <laughs> oh, no, that's true. That's yeah. just, that's just, uh, just uh, yeah, that's, that's better just, than that's, all of us. That's just science, dude. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> these people, <laughs> I mean, you are what you eat. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> God damn it. What makes Wesley the most of evil of them all. Dude, yeah. <laughs> So, so, um, so these people, they're like, oh, our ship is broken. We do not know how to fix. Oh, we don't know how to speak. Yeah. Yeah. And then Jordy comes in. He, fuck, he saunters in, by the way, dude. Yeah. He comes in with the fucking swagger, dude. <laughs> and he's like, what's up, dude? And he's like, hey, uh, these people, 
they don't know how to fix things, dude. They're fucking idiots, and they don't know how to even talk to us. They, they're just they speak in rudimentary fucking sentences, dude. Yeah, uh, we have power. We need power. We need help. Um, yeah. And <laughs> God damn it. Um, and they're basically like, oh, Jordy's like, I'll, I'll head over there and, and fix this thing because if we give them plans. These fuckers are not going to be. They don't. Need, I don't think they can know how to read. Yeah, I sympathize with Jordy so much in this situation as someone who's yep. the de facto IT man of my workplace. Uh, just, it just, I'll just do it. This <laughs> is just. This is just PTSD for me. <laughs> this entire episode, <laughs> including the, the 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 part where you're taken hostage and you're you're forced to make weapons of mass destruction. Yeah, yeah, to a T. Yeah. <laughs> I, hey, you, you want you want to hear an amusing anecdote just today in my workplace someone i i watched someone with a phd spend <laughs> over a minute trying to type the word scheduled <laughs> no way i watched him attempt it three times in a row <laughs> and then i couldn't take it anymore and i started to spell it for him <laughs> and his name was Tim. <laughs> Rhymes with sure. Jim. Let's go with that. Um, yeah, yeah. No yeah. joke. Oh, like man. it's a hard Full word, stop. dude. There's like three S's and two H's. <laughs> yeah, man. There, there's like <laughs> well, 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 see, like it starts off with three consonants. Like well, Jesus, where the fuck's the vowel? It's yeah. it's coming right. <laughs> Where's the vowel? Yeah. Where is the S C? What? Such a duel. What? You can't suck a head and duel anything. <laughs> it's too long. Dude. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm just really no. mad at this person. Um, no. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> this person reminds you of these people. These people are very, very frustrating. So they are. Jordy's like, instead of sending them a thing and then we're going to have to explain it 10 times, and then they're like, well, what's a screwdriver? It's like, oh boy, let, let me just go over there and fix it and we'll be done with you guys and, and you guys will be on your jolly fucking way to yeah. eat ding-dongs. Uh, and they don't seem to have lady uh, or they don't have ladies on the bridge and their thing. Maybe, maybe they all look, ladies and guys all look the same. Yeah, maybe, maybe they're they identical. Look, like, yeah, maybe. Fucking idiots. Yeah. Um, or maybe but, they're uh, uh, like a, a mono-gendered like species also possible. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to do this differently. I'm going to, I'm going to just concentrate on their thing and then get over. Yeah. Cause it comes back and forth randomly. Yeah, yeah. This doesn't so, feel natural. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and so this is a, this is the problem. He goes over there to fix the thing and then they take away his, his phaser or what is that phaser, right? His yeah. 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 His, 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 his phaser. And gun, they shoot yeah. him with it. Yeah. <laughs> Like, and, like and animals, grab dude. it out of yeah. like out of his holster. Yeah, boom, shoot him. <laughs> Actually, and that's he, one of the moves you, that I really wish would always happen in like uh like an action movie. Yeah, like you know how when like a villain like you know shows off that they have a gun as a threat. Yeah, yeah. I would love for someone to just grab it like immediately and point it at the villain at that moment. That's what that's what, what happens what in Revenge of the Sith. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, fucking, then that's what a great movie that is. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking, uh, what's this spinny, spinny lightsaber robot? What's his name? Fucking, I forgot his name. Uh, Johnny Five. Spinny Johnny five. <laughs> <laughs> Both of those are good. Uh, <laughs> General, General Grievous, right? That's yeah. his name. Because Star Wars spinny is McGreaves. subtle. Yeah. Star Wars has very subtle names. Hey, uh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Is I know that's the one you're going for. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say it. People need to hear it. Savage Opress is the name of a fucking Star Wars character. And then, like, like he literally goes, I will add this lightsaber to my collection. And then the Jedi go, oh, did you forget we have force powers? <laughs> you goddamn idiot. <laughs> okay. You know what? Good. Good. And that is a legitimately of, good of, thing. They suck it out of his cloak and... Sh- is he stupid? <laughs> yeah. Well, he's a robot, dude. No, he's actually not a robot. That's the thing. Grievous he's a sex robot that learns <laughs> to have feelings. <laughs> he's a Westworld robot. Yeah, dude. He's, he's got nothing oh, with I was grief, thinking of dude. AI. He's Darth, grief, grief, Darth Sidious Sidious Grievous. saved him. Yeah. <laughs> Grievous. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, no. He's always mourning. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> All right, dude. Let's get back to this, dude. Uh, so, so, so. Oh boy, fuck, dude. This this episode went off the rails quickly, dude. Um, so these idiots, dude. So basically, you find out that that these guys just collect fucking power. They collect things from different people. They hold yeah. them hostages. They're just idiots, dude. And then 
Riker out, outsmarts them because I hate to do this, but I want to do it. They're like those idiots from fucking from the insurrection. Like they showed up to the Capitol and they're like, we're here. Oh. We're going to change things. And then like, they're like, we're on the desk. We're going to change things. We're literally, if you sit in the seats, you're, you could change, you could change the law. You could change everything. And it's like, that's not how it works. You piece of shit. Get your fucking dirty oh. ass boots off the fucking table. Yet they just, fucking. they just, they just start slamming the gavel and go new law. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, that doesn't, that's not how any of this works. You piece of shit. And th- uh. it, it, it reminded me exactly of that because it's like, these people don't know how anything works and they were easily fooled. They were to be easily fair, fooled. Riker is also a gigantic fucking idiot in this episode. Yeah. As yeah. soon as Deanna Troy said, Hey, uh, they're lying. <clears throat> yeah. As as acting yeah. captain, I'd be like, oh, bring Jordy back now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah why, why would you wait? wait, wait <laughs> bring Jordy back now and we'll figure, we'll sort it out later. Yeah. And then and then talk yeah. to them and go, hey, what are you lying about? I know you're lying. <laughs> yeah. She just told me you're lying, you fat fucks. Yeah, what and, are you lying about? And then and then they're like, why did you body shame us? And it's like, well, because that's all we have, dude. <laughs> 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 Because fat equals evil. Yeah. Hollywood taught us this a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, so anyway, and or so, stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, so then so then. Um, <laughs> God damn fucking, yeah, you're right, dude. Riker is kind of an idiot, dude. He was he a huge been- idiot the whole time. We were yelling at this at the screen. Yeah. Bring Jordy back now. Back. Also, Worf had even <laughs> warned him. Worf, Worf had to yeah, like, hey, Worf, I'm imagining instantly. you and Sarah on the couch just yelling for 40 minutes. <laughs> Get him out of there. Back. Yeah, Get him out of there. Like now. usual, had the right had the right idea right at the beginning. Sir, we shouldn't trust them. Let's just leave. <laughs> Guys, what did I say last time? Because we got a listener question. What's our favorite character? Yeah. Did I say Worf? Or who do we most relate it was, to? I it was Worf. Yeah. It was Worf. Yeah, I, was Worf. I, I stand yeah, by, Worf. by my. Yeah. I stand by it because he's the guy that's constantly going like, no, I, I'm mad. Worf. This is going to work. <laughs> Fuck you guys. And he's right all the time, dude. They should have listened to him. They should have just been like, you know what? Worf's right, dude. If he's got a feeling, let him fucking give one of those fucking sex chants and then bring back <laughs> fucking Jordy. <laughs> Now, come um, to think of it, I, I'm also reinforced in my um, relating to Jordy. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 that like and Worf, and Worf is big enough to also not tell Riker. I told you, like yeah. you shouldn't go, go fucking Riker. Seven. You goddamn <laughs> idiot! True, I told you to pull him out of there, dude. And now look, we're stuck with these idiots, dude. So anyway, how that that gets solved is that they basically trick them. They trick them into into like letting Jordy fuck with their systems because they're idiots. They don't know how to fix anything, dude. Yeah. And they he he tricks them and then they open up the shields because the shields were preventing them from just sucking them out of there and, and yeah. transporting mm-hmm. them. They, or they, else they, they could have pre- just they, yeah. They pretend to shoot a crimson force field. Yeah. At them and it's it's weird because because like I, it, it just makes them give up instantly. Which yeah. was a bit, it was a bit strange. Yeah. It was just like, like oh, oh, okay. We, we, we are have, not strong. We are not strong. We don't have the power. Oh, okay. Well, it seemed Sorry. to be kind of a binary thing for them. It's like either we have the big weapon that Jordy was going to give us and we are able to take on enemies or we yeah. don't and we can't. So, yeah. Oh. Also, I don't know. Look, I'm maybe I'm just really vengeful, but I w- what I would have <laughs> done is I would have fucking... Transported back Jordy and gone, hey, <laughs> blow here, him gonna- out of the sky. <laughs> yeah, we'd have been like, hey, we're gonna we're gonna transport this little thing. It's gonna come out of the front. Keep looking at the front. Um <laughs> <laughs> keep looking at the front. We're gonna we're gonna zoom over the photon things for you guys to keep because yeah. you guys seem like you guys are a fair bunch of smart people. <laughs> uh but just look at the birdie and then boom, blow them up. <laughs> <laughs> Or just transport Wesley over. He'll take care of him. <laughs> or, oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> dude. Or or just start transporting them and in fucking into space, dude. <laughs> That's the most evil way to kill yeah. people. It's it's a thing you always wish Nightcrawler would do as, as yeah. an attack. Like, yeah. oh, just... They, they do it in X-Men First Class with yeah. not Nightcrawler, right? Like, you, they trans- as Azale. Yeah, yeah, as Azel. Yeah, they, they as teleport Azel. him into the, si- the sky yeah. and then they fall. It's like, oh, yeah. you should always do that. That's the ultimate yeah, move. Yeah, why not? <laughs> That's, That's that. a baller or, move. Or what if Shadowcat just dragged someone into a wall and left them there? 
Oh yeah, like all of yeah. these powers have have the ability to instantly kill by accident constantly. Most mutant powers can. Yeah, like Iceman just free freeze his head. He's dead. You know, yeah. like, <laughs> like the, 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 all of these yeah, are, yeah. are instant murder attacks, but they're like Ninja Turtles. They never actually hit the bad guy. I don't like that, dude. <laughs> they should just do that, dude. Like transport him into space and just be like in front of them, so you could see like there's your friend, dude. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> um but no no they, they they're too kind dude fucking let well he, i think i think Riker's also very embarrassed he's like god as soon as picard left i almost got jordy <laughs> completely killed <laughs> yeah, oh my yeah, god dude <laughs> this is this is this happens constantly. what i also like during you know like, like, the end wharf I, I that would be really interesting actually to like have like every, I don't want him to the, be in charge but people should listen to him more yeah he should I, roll I, up and be like they're hailing us like shoot them <laughs> <laughs> I would I would love more episodes where like some other character has to become captain, you yeah. know? All plastic yeah. has to be captain for an episode. Miles O'Brien, dude. My, oh, that'd be sick. What would Miles yeah. do? Right. That, that, yeah. That's an interesting thing to think about writing. Well, how yeah. would Miles O'Brien be as a captain? Yeah. Well, I yeah, don't sure, know. Maybe sure. maybe he'd just be like, hey, everyone take a break. Take a drinking yeah. break. Yeah, let's take a, take a drinking <laughs> break. Let's go to a sex planet for a bit and you know <laughs> get some more doctors because we're gonna all get chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> Because more, because multiple doctors to treat, yeah, because yeah, yeah. that's what you need. Yeah, you well, you, well, well, you need more of those pens now. More of those Beverly pens that she just fucking stabs people <laughs> with. <laughs> she doesn't even sanitize that thing. I've, I've seen her no. st- stick somebody and then stick another person. It's yeah. like, dude, you didn't even sanitize that shit. Or dude. warning. <laughs> no, you do. And or or like, or, wait, wait, wait! Or, I have an allergy. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, I'm oh, dead, dude. Shit! She, she doesn't even <laughs> overclose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is I gonna do? Um, so it, anyway, it's just general epinephrine every time, you know, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's always an EpiPen. Yeah. There's nothing else. Um, <laughs> so, so anyway, so the, uh, uh, this, this storyline will link up to the other storyline. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's move over to the other storyline. Wait, hold on. And, As we conclude that storyline, I will point out just one thing that I like. Jordy like has a sense of pride as he comes back. And he's like, whoa, you know, like I disabled the photon torpedoes just in time. That's why you're still here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like the weapon up, I gave them would have blown the fucking Enterprise out of the sky. Oh, I created these fucking super sick photon torpedoes. They were sick. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all were gonna get wrecked. Yeah. Anyway, I saved you guys. Um, <clears throat> so then uh, you have uh, Captain Picard and Wesley. And I like this. I like this conversation. He's look. He's really nosy as shit, dude. And he's only going to yeah, use. He's his really ammunition forward. Later on. Yeah. yeah, he's like, "Have you ever been married?" It's like, you don't yeah. ask a yeah, captain that. That's weird. There's something. <laughs> there's something. What Will Wheaton does, like when acting as Wesley, that like gets to me. Like it gets under my, under my skin every time I see it. It's his squinting, bratty question. <laughs> Well, Move. it's it's both. It's simultaneously written and performed as if it's like a nine year old. Like, yeah, yeah. It, it's like this is a problem we had with him in the first episode, the very first episode of the of the series, where he's like, this seems like it's written for like a child, not a teenager. Mm-hmm. Like a teenager um, would probably and know like better. Most to recently, not ask these type of it was um, we most recently saw this side of Wesley when he was like uh, like um, uh, heckling, or not he- quite heckling, but you know, just asking Worf all these questions and uh, and stuff. Yeah, when, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. During yeah, the yeah. the Icarus factor, it was during well, the Icarus but factor. But we did we did see like a mature Wesley when he was trying to fuck that chick. That was an alien. <laughs> that was an ugly alien. Um, and and he had it was the the shallow hell episode. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, essentially. <laughs> um, so yeah. so um where he kept telling her oh you'll see the universe and she's like no i won't and she's and you're like yeah baby you'll see the universe don't, don't worry. worry about it i'll just repeat yeah. that five times and yeah. Then- <laughs> yeah yeah you'll fall in love with me <laughs> um so so anyway so he's being very forward he's like why aren't you married don't you want kids like it's like things you're like your mother would ask you you know like yeah. when when are you gonna get married it's like no I, i'm not thinking about that well you know you should think about having kids now you know <laughs> it's like who what's what's up with all these questions and it's, and it's weird because picard responds like oh you know when you're in a position or a career path like me you know you have to watch your relationships carefully you know you can't yeah. just blah blah and he goes how about you wesley and Wesley has a really weird response where he goes, man, where women are concerned, I'm always in control. I mean, yeah, he's control. like, control. And he's you're like, like oh, what? I got that shit. I got that shit on lockdown, dude. He's like, did you see that chick I was trying to bang, dude? That wolf chick? 
the, the Muppet Monster, <laughs> the Muppet Mon- <laughs> the Traveler. I got that shit in lockdown, dude. <laughs> the Traveler uh, is trillions of light years away, and I still got him on lock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's just in all the quadrants. <laughs> yeah, 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 and all the Epsom salt. Um, <laughs> so, um. <laughs> So this is a very it, sexual episode. This episode, it is. It is dude. <laughs> um, so then, like, he, all all Picard wants to do is read, dude, and to have it take an easy fucking like six mm. hours off. But this guy keeps fucking asking stupid fucking questions, yeah. and and finally, like, he's like, uh, he starts eating a sandwich, which is weird, dude. And maybe want a sandwich though. Yeah, uh, yeah. he has yeah, a sandwich, true. and he's like, oh, have a sandwich. He's, he's eating a sandwich and drinking it, drinking. Earl Grey tea, I assume. Yeah, yeah, right. It's got Which be. is a horrible combination, dude. Um, well, well, tea and, sa- and and like cucumber sandwiches. He's, he's eating you like think as he's eating cucumber sandwiches. Cucumber sandwiches sound awful. Yeah, but but British people love it. I don't know why. Like it's like a thing that they love. And they're to awful do. too. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, dude. Uh, listenership drops. Yeah, dude. In Denver, <laughs> audience was from fucking <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or what you gonna do about it, bro? <laughs> what you gonna do? Um, uh, I'm not going to laugh at your expense. <laughs> um, so they, they share sandwiches and they're talking about the girls. They're talking about him in the Academy. And then he, he like gets, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. He gets like fucking real. And, and like, he tells them about the heart thing, which is weird. Uh-huh. Like, it's like the one guy who's going to tell fucking everybody. You didn't want Pulaski to do it. <laughs> That's who, true. Who, if who he's took so, an yeah, yeah, it's it's weird. not tell anybody. And you're gonna tell Wesley first. First person you're gonna tell is fucking Jordy. Yeah, or Data, or his mom, or his well, probably his mom. And then his mom's gonna tell everybody because God knows. <laughs> Did you hear Picard's? Uh, oh man. Well, yeah. You know, she probably already knew. Yeah, yeah. She's like, his and then heart he'll text work? the traveler yeah. about it. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like, it turns out not only does his dick not work, his heart. <laughs> It's a replacement dick surgery as well. <laughs> um, and I don't know why he tells them like, and they have like a, I do like that. They kind of have like a, like a bonding moment. Cause he's like, uh, I, I know you don't like me. And he's like, I, why would you assume that? He's like, I know you, you hate kids. That's the question I feel like is more important than all this other bullshit. He starts off with about like, Oh, did you ever have a wife? What about kids? You know, like the fact that he's like, I'm so I, I feel like it, it made more sense for him to be like, I'm sorry. I know this is awkward for you. You know, because you, yeah. you don't really or, like. I I like this episode. I don't like. Wait, this, did this all part those quest- did all those probing questions precede that conversation about yeah. not liking him? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's how okay. it started. I, I wish this episode would have been more of that. Like, like him going like, "Hey, I know I've been like trouble for you, and you know, first of all, you don't like kids, and second of all, I'm a piece of shit, dude." <laughs> and like, but I, but I, but you know, thanks for giving me a chance. It could have been like a really good bonding moment, but instead, it's like just him probing him about goddamn fucking not having kids. Yeah, it's, it's not like, really back and forth. Kids? Yeah, no, no, it's a yeah. one-sided fucking affair. It's an interview, but, not a conversation. Yeah, yeah. but it, it opens up Picard, so yeah, it's it's pretty cool. And so the storyline continues, and they get to the five 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 base or whatever, and he walks him in. Uh, Wesley's like, oh, I'll, I'll stay with you, and he's like, well, why are you staying? He's like, ah, I, 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 I told Pulaski that I would, I would walk you all the way in. And he's like, oh, that fucking bitch. Uh, she's always on, on me about getting surgeries. Um, and <laughs> she's always on me about getting surgeries. Yeah. This is so the then, fifth surgery I've had this week. God. Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> no, you so, should really have that appendix put back in. Yeah. So <laughs> Take so it out, put it back in. Remove it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> put it back in. <laughs> <laughs> these doctors. You went suck. immediately to the image I actually had in my head. <laughs> These do- these doctors are horrible, dude. Because they're like, oh, he's gonna die. Wait, I just noticed they just want the insurance like money. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just noticed something while while scrubbing through. There is a moment where uh, Picard tells Wesley, you know, it was a faulty replacement, and then Wesley says, "Why would anyone use a faulty replacement?" <laughs> and then and then Picard just says, "Just pilot the shuttle, Wesley." And he, it's like, yeah, that is legitimately That's a, it's a stupid go- question. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> Because they didn't know it was faulty, you dumb fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we have a you bad idiot. one, but we'll just use it. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, like, like it's it's faulty because they discovered later <laughs> that doesn't work very well for whatever reason. By the way, the, the 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 reason Picard's missing a heart is because when he was younger, he was kind of a wild cadet, 
and he got in a bar fight essentially yeah he was too much yeah. like kirk yeah he was basically kirk more kirkish and then a Nazican. he was gonna be kirk but then he had a heart problem <laughs> and yeah, so he became picard <laughs> instead Kind of, kind of. It was kind of a defining moment that kind of switched up his uh, his attitude where uh, he got in a bar fight with a bunch of Nausicans and then they used the blade, stab him in the back through That's his That's how he earned his nickname, Picardiac Replacement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You did it. Oh, Thank you. Well. You've won. These idiots that are operating on him are, they suck, dude. Yeah, they're they're like, so cocky at the beginning. Yeah, they're like, oh, they're we'll like, all be home in time for dinner. They're like, dude, yeah. I'm going to be home and I want to watch my fucking Hulu, my TiVo. And he's like, what is all these things you're naming? He's like, don't worry about it. <laughs> you're not rich like me. Late, and late you don't, 20th you're not, let's century. Let's all go home and watch The Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because they look like they're kind of from The Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> yeah, they do, they do, they do. They got a weird getup. It's, a, it's actually a whole impregnation of Picard thing they're actually doing <laughs> yeah you surgery. think it'd be you think it'd all be nanobots you know that's no. it's just i think the idea of nanobots just aren't even a twinkle in their eye yet it should be though right like like hypothetically if we're making the show now they'd be like all right put this now the, it'd probably be like oh nano- yeah all, all surgery is nanobots yeah you know? put the yeah. the a nanobot suppository up his butthole and let the <laughs> nanobots take over yeah and like i like i'd imagine be like oh i have like a little cup i just pour it on your head or something it's just no, a no, vial no, of it's, gray it's, goo it's, no, it's uh, through the butthole, dude. <laughs> nanobots always, to always go through the butthole, Did dude. you know? A suppository uh, <laughs> vial of gray goo. Yeah, so yeah. they're saying that um, because it's so difficult to uh, intubate people who are, ha- are unable to breathe because mm-hmm. uh, they have really serious COVID, uh, they're like, it's actually been discovered that mammals can breathe oxygen through their butt. <laughs> really? <laughs> so in the future. Like discovered? <laughs> Yeah, they discovered it. So in the future, who the fuck it wasn't just one of those embarrassing <laughs> facts that was quietly like covered up for a long time. It's like so we're everyone, going to pull this out when we really, really need it. Everyone, get your vaccinations unless you want to be intubated up your anus. Okay, I mean that's, that's coming. <laughs> We've been talking out of our asses for, you know, for a very long time. It only stands to reason we can breathe through it too. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense, dude. Uh, it's the future. All the future of medicine. Everything's gonna be through the anus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the future of medicine. Yeah. The future of, of medicine is the anus. The nanobots. I mean, the future the of medicine is behind us. <laughs> yeah, totally. totally, totally. Uh, so, so much to mine here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the 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 doctors are like, oh, we uh, we don't know. We need we need a, a butthole specialist, and we I don't know. We don't know anybody. <laughs> Well, by the way, who's a great? We're gonna lose um, his anus. <laughs> yeah, he's a great character actor. You, you've seen him in a bunch of things. Yeah, he's yeah, a yeah. Chinese character actor, mm-hmm. and he was in like recently. I saw him. The the things that I that I remember as of recently, I saw him in The Farewell mm-hmm. and Arrival. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's he's a, you've you, you've seen him in a bunch of stuff. But it was great to see him in this. Yeah, he shows up as like uh, I forgot what was that like alternate reality Nazi. Amazon show with the Nazis one. Um, not without my Nazis. No. <laughs> no. Man in the High Castle. Yeah, he, he's in there as like a general too. Yeah. yeah. So. so he's like, I know somebody, but they live in that, in they, they're in they're in the Enterprise. So, <laughs> so I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> it's like, why didn't he just have the surgery with fucking Pulaski in the beginning, dude? So what a waste! It's huge, this is literally thing. a huge waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then and then so so Picard's out this whole time, yeah. and then but but so you know what, what would have been f- way f- more fun if that like head surgeon just ripped off a mask and it was Pulaski. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was yeah, me the dude. whole time, bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Turns out you didn't need surgery. I just wanted to touch your butthole. Um, <laughs> I seen everything. It's too late. Yeah. Wave of the future. <laughs> it's a wave of the future. So so then surprise at, at the same time this, the is hap- this is happening. They're trying to trick those fucking idiots, the insurrection idiots, into into giving them Jordy so they can get back with Pulaski. Yeah. Uh yeah. to to do certain things. It's a clock element suddenly yeah, now. They 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 get her they get him out of there. They they fucking blast over there and Picard wakes up from the surgery. You think you think it failed. It's it's really well done because you th- there's really good transitions in that, this episode, by the way. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. There's, uh, there's parts where they're like talking about like they're like we're gonna do surgery 
and Picard goes under, and then and then it cuts to like an instrument, uh-huh. but it's actually, and then it goes wide, and it's it's Jordy working on the instrumentation of the of the idiot's uh-huh. ship. <laughs> it, there's really good like transitions in this episode, and yeah, I, yeah. I, I dug the directing. And then you he wakes up, and you th- oh no he doesn't wake up sorry it's it's a close up and it, of Picard, and then it's it's getting wider and wider, and you see all the doctors like taking off their thing, but they don't look happy. The like, and I get why because they had a bring in another doctor who's a butt specialist, but, uh, <laughs> but it looks like they lost them, right? Like they didn't yeah. get here in time. We yeah, lost yeah. them. And then Picard opens his eyes and he's like, Oh damn it. You're here. You <laughs> bitch. And, so unappreciative. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pulaski <laughs> fixes leaky butthole and his small dick. Yeah. And he's all, he's all set to go. And it's like, we wasted this whole episode. <laughs> When you could have just had the surgery over there, just just been just done swallowed five your pride and just yeah. had her do take it. the nanomot fucking suppository. And you're done, <laughs> but no, dude, you're goddamn yeah. pride. Now you look like a bitch because they had to hail them, and now the whole ship knows. Yeah, and then uh, Picard comes back and to the bridge, and they all clap for him. Yeah, which <laughs> yeah. is so strange. <laughs> It's really strange because, like, he's been like again. He came back from like mind control before, and no one was like, yeah. "Oh, he's back." Yeah, he's like, back, like you know, dude. He's nothing. Just, <laughs> yeah, they just finally acknowledge that he's an essential worker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then and then basically, Wesley. Like, was what fine time of day him. is that supposed to be when that <laughs> happened? It was that time. <laughs> um, Wesley um, basically um, be, ha- passes the test. He needs to to do and he he's allowed to stay and finish his studies on the enterprise which yeah. again i would anger me if i had gone to 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 start feel like fleet academy for all these years and had to bust my ass off to pay my goddamn student loans and this <laughs> bitch yeah. so just actually quick question seat. about that like was this trip for the test ostens like supposed to be his round two of that same academy test that he took for an entire episode before no it's like apparently just some sort of test that permits him to continue like being an acting ensign on the enterprise and as far as i know just, it just is he just renewing his his driver's permit i, I think it's essentially kind of like that okay. yeah he like he had All to right, retake right, he, yeah yeah he's had he's had his permit for a year and they had to renew it or something like yeah. that basically Oh, he's like, we know this guy's tried to kill people before, so we got to psych evaluate him, make sure he's okay. Yeah. And he's like, no, he's a psycho. He could be a captain. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, but yeah, man. dude, a lot of failure all around. The only guy who knows what he's doing <laughs> is fucking Worf, dude. He yeah. should be in charge. They, they should just make him captain. Even and- Jordy was like, he's competent, but he was like too cocky he's like yeah. ah we'll be fine these guys are idiots i'll just take yeah. care of this shit and get out yeah. of here and then let yeah. us guard I've down been there too <laughs> <laughs> yeah you too were shot by a phaser in the well in i mean like i've been in that point where it's like ah you know like th- this technical concern will you know it- it's nothing we can't handle don't worry it'll be fine then bang oh fuck <laughs> oh no Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> the I, users. I, I, <laughs> I do like that. I look as much as I hate Wesley, and much as I, I hated his stupid questioning. It's the best I did part like of the episode. That. This is the best part of the episode, and I like that. Well, basically, it's just an excuse to let Picard act. Yeah, hmm? yeah, I, I like that though. I like that when when Picard's put in a, in an awkward position and he makes the best out of it, and like also I like I like Picard oh, yeah. having one on ones with people. I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely, exactly, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That's always good stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so. All in all, I'd say it's better than than usual. It's better than the fucking space Gymkhana episode. Um, so <laughs> the one where they're with the American Gladiators one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give this. Um, you know what? I'm I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a six and a half. Okay, it's on the positive side. I'm gonna give it a four. Wow, dude! Really I just low. I just hate the Pocalids so much. There is also a term. Uh, 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 the Simpsons uh, voice actors coined this, the idiot hat. Um, and they would joke, who is wearing the idiot hat this week? And I feel like that's what this episode is. Yeah. It's just like the only way most of this plot could happen is if several characters wore idiot hats. Yeah. And that's the most annoying type of storytelling to me where things happen just because you're, you're stupid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Like not like and stupid out of character, which is it just bothers me a lot, especially yeah. with such like a character driven show. But 
So four out of ten for me. But I don't know what do you think, Dan. Mm, I I share a distaste for those characters as you do. <laughs> I think I'll give it a five because of the Picard stuff and yeah. and for how much I relate to Jordy specifically. Mm. But that's about it. But the, the those guys they suck, man. They suck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That Picard story he tells to Wesley about his bar fight. It's mm-hmm. actually like a long running canon. So really, yeah. Uh, yeah, the, actually, we 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 kind of glazed over that, but he does tell a story. We should we should talk about that now, about how he hurt his heart and and yeah, it was the Nausicans who yeah, sta- like he got he was he, trying to fuck a Lassiverian and he got <laughs> stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're they're like um, this is a spoiler for an upcoming episode, but like you'll see it, like they'll they'll like the show that the show him getting stabbed. You'll see uh, the, uh, at least this is the part I always remember. It's like, do you want to play Dom Jot? Like that's what the Nausicaans sound like. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you'll see Nausicaans, I should say. Oh, uh, but you don't get this. There's no flashback of young Picard uh, played by Jason Statham. Well, I- <laughs> going, oh, I- oh, fuck you, mate. And then and then that's when he changed his ways. You know what I mean? Oh, like he's that's like, too oh, good. I can't be. Telling and for the time period, off, it really would have been like a young Jason Statham. Yeah, it would have. Yeah. Oh man. He's like, hey, fuck you, mate. And then and then he fucking headbutts somebody. He, lo- he and loses his cocky accent back. for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. After being stabbed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Nausicans stabbed in the back, embarrassing surgery, and an embarrassing hostage situation. That's yeah, yeah just a lot snare. of embarrassment. Yeah, yeah, what an embarrassing episode. <laughs> if fucking if Jason Statham was the captain, this would have never happened. No, he would just yeah, shoot right. the ship. Yep, he'd been like, beam me over, I'm gonna roundhouse kick everybody on that. Yeah, ship, th- we can't, I mean, we can't, we- sir. The force fields prevent us from. He's like I'll uh, transporting you onto the ship. Then well, transporting today you would onto not have been a day for transporting. No, today would no. have been a day for crank. Yeah, dude. here's the thing. <laughs> that he's, you'd be he's like, like, he'd be like, load me in the photon torpedo bay and fire <laughs> me, at them, dude. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, fucking, he, he's like, get me these, give me these two things. He's like. Three things actually. He's like, one, give me a a, a, a barrel of oil. <laughs> one, a dirty motor oil, very yeah, dirty, dirty oil. <laughs> Two, get me, <laughs> get me a, a, a large capacity battery. <laughs> three, load us get into me a the dilithium fusion reactor. <laughs> yeah. And and three, load us into the fucking torpedo bay and launch us into there. Oh no, four things. Kick the fuck, four things. Yeah. At, he needs to wear bicycle pedals before he gets launched. <laughs> <laughs> 20th century bicycle pedals. Yeah. 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 And he's all, he's all, Miles O'Brien, oil me up. And Miles O'Brien has to oil him up. Yes, sir. He knows exactly what to do. He's like, I know exactly what his plan is. Yeah. I'm Irish. I know what they do here. (laughs) What? <laughs> oh, I want a shirt so bad that has like the crew of the Enterprise and the captain is is Jason Statham <laughs> instead of Luke Picard. Oh man, there'd be so many copyright issues if we if we tried to make sure. Like, I, I we're gonna make yeah, it that's good. that's merch that we can't actually sell. We just we don't we have just to sell it. it. We, we just gotta keep goading Jason Statham on his Instagram. Be like, hey, yeah, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 Jason. Hey. Ever, ever thought about Star Trek? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to be Star Trek? Yeah. Would you like to be Star yeah. Trek? How Come do you on. feel about oil drums in Star Trek? <laughs> <laughs> I it reminds me of an Animaniacs episode with the survey ladies. Like, do you like beans? Do you like George Went? Would you like to see George Went in a movie? Would you like to see George Went eating beans in a bean eating movie? Ugh. I would. <laughs> uh, 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 oh boy! Do you have that any was, questions for this week? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that was that was a Samaritan snare. Um, we have we have like not a question for this week. Oh, I want full question too. It's just more of like a, a just oh. a general thing that they wanted to talk about for. Uh, Chaos on the Bridge. That, 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 I just want to very quickly. I, I love how the title of the, that episode was like implying that being a good Samaritan will get you in trouble. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's, yeah. that's, that's true. That's, that is the moral of Star Trek. Yeah, a lot of these are because they try to help people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like no good deed goes unpunished, as they say. Never help anyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what they. Sh- that's what they really say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, this is this email is titled Chaos on the Bridge in Future Viewing. So, hello, gents. I disagree with Dan regarding Chaos on the Bridge. Uh, that's the Dan who I think was in a previous email, not our Dan. 
uh and uh not so much from i'm a sp- so confused man <laughs> yeah refer not so to this dan is common from now on <laughs> <laughs> okay whoever sends in next emails call, call dan common and then yeah. it will guarantee to be written to be read on the podcast you know <laughs> you can relate to your common dan <laughs> <laughs> the common dan uh uh, not so much from a, a spoilation concern, but rather spoilation. because spoilation. Yeah, but rather because it has been tremendously fun revisiting these episodes, often after a twenty-five year hiatus, and much of that is derived from Ricardo's recaps and the analysis of all three of you. You even changed my mind on a few episodes. Cool. Uh, well, while Chaos on the Bridge is wonderfully tabloid, see that makes me want to watch it more. That he calls it wonderfully tabloid. Uh, Mm. And a great watch. It changed the lens through which I looked at TNG even years later. I definitely think it would be a blast to listen to all three of you discuss COTB. However, it would be better suited to wait until you've completed the series a decade from now. How long do you think this podcast is going to (laughs) last? I don't think we're going to live. It's it's a space (laughs) decade, dude. It's it's really like a year. I got one foot in the grave, man. (laughs) It's like an interstellar decade. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, you know, to keep your experiment pure. Also, regarding what series to watch next, I'd recommend going back to TOS as DS9 does somewhat reference concept explored in TOS in the movies. My counter argument to that is so does TNG. But here we are. Uh, so, so thank you for reigniting my love of this favorite show from my childhood. You guys are a lot of fun. I look forward to your podcast each week. Sorry we missed last week. Uh, best. Uh, and this is from Teabags, the Traveler. <laughs> Oh yeah, dude. He begs the traveler. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, that was nice. <laughs> that, that makes made me, me. That makes me. That makes my heart. This simultaneously. Well, I appreciate ma- the kind words. Thank yeah. You. First of all, thank you. It's very, very nice. But this also simultaneously makes me want to watch it more and watch it less. I think. I think he he does make a point. Is it? Is it he? Sorry, them, they, well, uh, whomever. To me- well, it's very. Uh, if whomever you make concern, then yeah. Who may, whoever, whom, I mean, whoever as we all know, tea bags are universally male. Yeah. <laughs> well, a male, it could be a male carrier. <laughs> Damn it, dude. Um, <laughs> God damn it, dude. We're fucking idiots, dude. Uh, I am, but you guys are okay. Um, no, we're all idiots. Come um, on. I think, I think they are right. I think we should wait till the end because if it's maybe not a correct, decade later, but maybe, not a decade later, but I think yeah. when we're done with this, the series, uh, we should watch it together and do a commentary yeah yeah i think i I think that would be cool i think because because my how about about this how about you guys watch it and then you tell me if i should watch it or not but see i don't want to see now i'm worried about coloring my expectations i thought you were gonna sing the dawson's peak song dude (laughs) i don't want to (laughs) wait yeah (laughs) from bridge to be chaos Uh, very oh, good. Oh boy, very good, it was man. Dawson's Bridge over the creek. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> and it was in chaos. Let dude, me tell you, <laughs> dude. Riker in my fucking in my remake, we got Luke Picard as the captain, dude. Oh, uh, James Vanderbeek, <laughs> James Vanderbeek, dude, as Wesley. <laughs> oh, you you threw me for a loop. I yeah, thought you dude. were. Oh. You thought I was going to say Riker, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, you did, you motherfucker. I, nah, Riker's going to be No, the well, new okay. Wesley is is uh, the original younger Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. That's what they'll make the new oh, Wesley. Oh, the clone them. <laughs> it's all CGI characters. <laughs> <laughs> I can oh, imagine boy. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen saying these lines, you know, oh, sure. more yeah. and more convincingly. <laughs> yeah. Then young Will Wheaton. <laughs> I could also easily imagine Wesley going, you got it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no, Wesley uh, played by Will Wheaton now. Oh. Tatted up Will Wheaton, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You know what they're going to do? They're going to probably, if, if Will Wheaton ever comes back to the Star Trek universe, they'll bring him back as Will Wesley, Wheaton. Wesley's captain of something. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Wesley will be a captain of something. Yeah. Yeah. Him and, and 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 the famous Okana just fucking giving the fucking universe fucking <laughs> and the traveler the traveler yeah, the traveler is, is traveler's probably his number one you know yeah he's like oh, number man. one make it so he's like oh yes, yes. you know what <laughs> yes, I'm starting to get sold on this concept like a new like ragtag crew on a dinky little ship yeah. that's like the traveler Captain Wesley and Okana and some other couple and a couple other fucks Yo, yeah, Okana. Okana. 
Miles O'Brien's giving, there randomly. The amazing Ohana not, means family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, Okana meets family, dude. <laughs> he's yeah. fucking everybody, dude. Teabag, Teabag comes back. Like he, yeah. he managed to fix the thing, and then he yeah. is, he's, he's their, also he's seen their some shit. So but it's yeah. yeah. Teabag now. So, and, so and he, he's, he's basically really, he's prison break Teabag. Yeah, you know? dude. He's like, like he's oh, still pretty. a doctor. You know, he calls everybody pretty. Uh, pretty. Yeah. <laughs> this is a really. This is a and really. Trevor's like back off. Yeah, <laughs> all of this in the Star Trek universe is actually legitimately like enticing. Like I would, I would watch that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm dude. telling you, I, I, I was the first to be sold. Mm. Mm. Here's my five dollars. <laughs> One show, please, dude. You get you get you get James Statham to be the captain, dude. Dude, it's it's money in the bank, dude. No, by this point, Statham is an admiral, and he comes no, in with, no, that, no, with no, that gold no. that gold suit. On. He he needs he at least. Okay, is there a rank above admiral that like Statham? Damon. <laughs> <laughs> Damon Statham. <laughs> uh, well, that was an email. If you wanted to also send us an email, I should have said that at the beginning. Uh, it's uh, You can send us an email to contact at newbiestartrek.com. Why did I do that? I totally that? forgot about the premise of the email. I actually wanted to say that, yeah, it's very possible that watching Chaos uh, or that that documentary, like especially because it's now been class or um, characterized as tabloid, and because we know who produced it, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, um, William Shatner, yeah, um, Big it's very likely that, yeah, it's like <laughs> if you know too much about you know drama behind the scenes and stuff, you would tend to look for hints of that yeah, in the yeah. episodes as you yeah, watch it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and if and and I'm almost certain that would be the contents of of that documentary. And yeah. so I'm kind of afraid of watching it personally now because I haven't yeah. actually seen the whole show through. Yeah, these eyes well, are virgin, dude. <laughs> like I know some of the contra, and I've been pointing it out as it's happened. Like you know, like the Gene Roddenberry interfering, yeah. and like Maurice Hurley yeah, trying yeah, yeah. to get little bits like that. Yeah, sure. but but I guess it's not, I don't really know what's in chaos in the bridge, and if it's a lot of sex uh, stuff, dude. <laughs> a lot of sex stuff. Dude. There's a surprising amount of butt sex. Yeah, like, behind the scenes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so thanks for that email, Teabags the Traveler. Thank you. And uh, if anyone else wants to send an email, uh, again, it's contact at newbiestartrek.com. But uh, yeah, otherwise, this has been an episode of Newbie Star Trek. Thanks, everybody. Uh, if you guys have been enjoying it, it'd be really cool. You could leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or Podcast Addict or wherever else yeah. podcasts are rated. I don't even know for sure. Um, yep. So like, like apparently on Amazon music it's rateable but to who if it's what? rateable you must acquit i mean <laughs> um i i classify as pretty shitty music man <laughs> yeah this is what we, this is what you should do you can't dance if to you, this if you hate us and you want to send hey email send it in the form of a re- bad review i'll accept <laughs> that <laughs> so if it's if it's on amazon music uh just uh give give the the bonus episode that's nate's songs give that five star that's music. Yeah. But oh, everything yeah, else, all this other shit, we cut the music off to start talking. It's horseshit. So what a what yeah. a waste of time. <laughs> Connor's uh, gonna drop off drop an album with with um with Nate. <laughs> all these t- all all of these times Common has tried came to our podcast and tried to, you know, drop his latest single, but we just keep cutting him off with yeah. Star Trek shit. Yeah. Yeah, uh, guys, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Here I am trying to bring some nice music to you, nice <laughs> folks, and you just won't let me. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like Jimmy Stewart, too. <laughs> Sounds like, sounds like uh, Colin got, got, a, got a case of the Jimmy Stewarts. <laughs> uh, I'll have your single here. Uh, it's in Bill's house at, 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 at a friend's house. <laughs> oh, boy. You're the music, everyone. <laughs> Oh man! Oh God! If you for some reason want to like listen to us on other things, uh, uh, we we have another podcast called the Fugitive Frames Film Podcast. Yeah, and uh, we we I think I don't think that commentary track of what did we watch? Extro, extro. I, I, yeah. th- I kept thinking Tron. I don't know why. Oh, we <laughs> did. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God, I've been smoking too much weed, dude. I, I, I was just going to say we should record a commentary for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, it already. <laughs> I mean, 
we can do another. <laughs> but we should, you could do uh, another one. And yeah, then, we, uh, we could even that, do Tron if yeah, you want. I mean, the first released. okay. So, so just to let you guys know, the the we were choosing them in a rotation. So Ricardo chose the first one, Super yeah. Mario Brothers. I chose Extro. Dan's going to choose the next one. So let's see what he chooses. That'll be interesting. Yeah, uh, and then yeah, and then just choose the original Red Dawn or, yeah. or the remake. <laughs> yeah, and then R- Ricardo's <laughs> also got um. Another another episode coming out, which I think is with our friend Rick, right? Which is like yeah. he he liked psychological horror. No, so no, that, no, we, that one's released already. We're doing uh, oh, so the next, oh right, that one's out. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, so we're doing the one first. First, we're releasing the extra uh, commentary. That's going to be fun. That's a weird movie. And then <laughs> we're doing uh, an episode on 1982, I believe, with Ch- our friend Chuck. Yeah. His, his topic was interesting. He wanted a really specific year, so that yeah, was yeah. that was. We're, we're going to start doing that, and then um. Hopefully, we'll do another Canon film episode soon. Heck yeah, dude. And then uh, we also have our YouTube channel, uh, Fugitive Games, uh, yeah. where we're right about to finish um, Shadow of the Colossus. And in fact, I think by the time this episode comes out, Shadow of the Colossus will have finished. Yeah. Uh, and I think we'll have started our next LP, which is Paper Mario, uh, the, the Origami, origami King. King. <laughs> ah, jinx. <laughs> uh, well, it wasn't synced on my end, so I don't oh. accept this jinx. <laughs> Anti jinx. Uh, yeah, which has been <laughs> it's been a lot of fun because, like, I I feel like it's not an RPG, but it has like the charm of the original Paper Mario writing. Like a lot of it seems to be to there at ex- least to an extent. Uh, yeah. I think there's a there is a lot of edge missing. There yeah, is a lot yeah. of um. Uh, <sighs> Like it, it's it's a variety of characters that, that that's such a problem. Yeah, it's they don't they can't because they weren't allowed to do like the unique cast of enemies anymore. It's only like, like it's, yeah, you don't meet anyone that you grow particularly fond of because you work together with them. Yeah, there's no named character partner that's an enemy. Like it's like a, a brand new character they created for the game. Yeah, you know, but that, I mean, th- that's that's old criticisms that have been lobby- uh, lobbed at the Paper Mario series since Sticker Star, so yeah. I won't go into those here. Yeah, but but we're having a pretty good time, honestly. Uh, we're destroying yeah, like, our it is, it is nevertheless a very <laughs> fun game. It's just yeah. not like it. Like it's worth saying at any given moment that it's no thousand year door if that's what you were looking for specifically. But it's still a lot of fun. We're 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 tearing up our throats, voicing Toad. Uh, so that's because every goddamn character is a toad. <laughs> uh, so that's been good. But anyway, all that stuff, all that stuff, you can find it at fugitiveframes.com. And uh, that'll just take you to a bunch of links that uh, takes us to a bunch of stuff that you can look at and whatnot. Also, I, re- I, re- I redesigned our the newbie Star Trek website. It's a lot nicer now. Oh, yeah, now. you did. So if you guys just want It's dark now. Yeah, and it's cleaner. It doesn't look like like a, a really old website anymore. So it's a lot nicer. Thanks, Podbean, for giving us yeah, that yeah. theme. Uh, but anyway, the next episode next week is called Up the Long Ladder. I have a vague memory of this episode. Um, so we'll see. I don't remember if it's good or not. Um, before we sign off, if you are a fan of Mario and Toad, Mm. Uh, just type in uh, Toad Sings Shallow. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Merry Christmas, you wonderful enterprise. <laughs> <laughs>